When Ben Bell was voted to be Gore's new mayor, he was all jingly jazz hands. How do you feel? Oh, I feel fantastic. But for the 23-year-old Lordship of Gore, things quickly went south when he fell out with his council chief executive, Stephen Parry. It got so bad, Mayor Bell became a literal no-mates. Do we have a, a volunteer who would like to come with me to the conference? Oh. But unfortunately, Gore's not alone. I am resigning as the Mayor of Tauranga with immediate effect following this meeting. It happened in Wellington a few years ago uh, when local government New Zealand stepped in with the minister, but it happened in Kaipara. When this happens, it's a failure of governance. But what exactly does that mean? Governance is about setting the direction. It's about saying what the community wants to achieve. It's one of those words where uh, people hear it and they immediately turn off or, you know, eyes rolled in the back of their heads or something, um, when in fact it's really, really important. Good governance is when you get those decisions made collaboratively, where you don't necessarily have to have a vote, and when once it's put in place, everyone works towards that vision. So why do councils sometimes resemble a man fighting a bee and totally fall apart? There are councils all around the country where elected members are just the drones of the unappointed politicians. Despite the fact that Ben was democratically elected by the people of Gore, some of his council colleagues and some of the management appear to have decided they actually run the council. And then some forget there's no I in team. They've been there elected to do what's best for the community and sometimes they don't necessarily think about that. They think they're going to do what's best for them. Maybe we just need a bit of quality onboarding. I got elected to the council here in Purirua when I was 19. Uh, and yeah, it was a baptism of fire. Working within a political environment would be helpful to have more support and resources available for newly elected members. That's all part of creating agility that allows councils to be able to respond to changes in that environment and deal with the tricky things that they have to deal with. Maybe the solution is easier than we think. It is a really bad lack of governance if management are running the show. We need to strengthen the powers of a mayor and of an elected council. They should be working with the chief executive to deliver on the vision. It should not be the other way around. It's a huge distraction from the work that needs to be done, and the community doesn't win. They've elected us to do a job, and it's our responsibility to do that job well. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that I'd like to say is really important. Um, I'd like to just say to the people of Gore, it's a heart. <laughs> yeah, I, I love you, and it's a tragedy. That's the right thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah it's yeah, a heart. Well yeah, a heart, I, I, a heart gore. Yeah. Um, but I do, because it's a tragedy when um, a local government falls apart like that. And I note that none of those former councillors who are in our story, they're a good story, none of them actually said what I'm about to say. We've got way too many councils and councillors in New Zealand. We need to cut a few. We've got 1,041 elected councillors in New Zealand, and honestly, we could do with about 200 or 300 less of them. Right. Councillors covering bigger areas where they've got more power and they're more representative. We've got too many, the pool is too big, and unfortunately when that happens, you get a lot of crap in a pool. Okay. Yeah, the evidence against that I give to you is the Auckland Super City, because I don't think it's quite delivered what getting rid of those councils promised. Mm. I hate it when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's it's a different scenario. Let's